Hogslat's newest feed line control, the HS820, uses infrared technology with a color-coded display to quickly inform the user of its operational mode. This color-coded display permits a person to see what's happening from a distance without having to enter the pen. The infrared sensors can detect all types of feed and are not impacted by moisture the way the proximity sensors are. The unit is self-contained with a relay contact that connects directly to the feed system control box. Installation into your existing system is simple. As an example, we're going to demonstrate how to connect it to a short time control box. Turn off power to the system and unplug the existing control box. Remove the cover to the control box and disconnect the drop tube. Determine the viewing angle you desire for the HS820 and drill holes into the upper tube and drop cone. Insert a 4 inch wire pin to hold it in place while you square up the HS820. Now drill holes on the opposite side of the upper tube and existing drop cone. Push the pin through the other side and secure it. With the HSA20 in place, insert its wires through the existing wire port of the control box or install a new liquid tight connector. Conjoin the red wire with one of the two yellow wires from the HSA20 and connect them to the number 6 slot in the chore time terminal. Then connect the second yellow wire from the HSA20 to the number 5 slot on the chore time terminal. Connect the black wire from the HSA20 to the number 3 slot on the chore time terminal. Last, conjoin the green wire from the HS820 to the green ground wire of the chore time control box and cap them with a wire connector. If you're connecting to an AP or GSI box, then first conjoin one of the two yellow wires with the red wire and connect them to the AP terminal wire from the switch. Then connect the black wire to the L2 slot on the AP terminal. Now take the second yellow wire and connect it to the L1 slot on the AP terminal. Last, connect the green wire to the green ground screw of the AP control box. With the wiring complete, go ahead and reattach the control box cover. Install the drop tube to the lower pipe of the HS820 by drilling holes into both sides then securing it with a wire pin. The installation of your infrared control is now complete. Plug your control box back in, turn on the power, and program the control with the times needed for your specific feeding schedule. To purchase your HS820 infrared control, you can visit any Hogslat store or go to our website at www.hogslat.com.